Live video? Awesome. So we're live here at T3 Performance here with Coach Josh. So as everybody knows, unfortunately, but fortunately, all the gyms are closed down due to the COVID-19, the coronavirus, but we will still want to make sure that we're keeping everybody moving, keeping everybody fit, healthy, and active. So I'm going to be here at the 8 o'clock uh, time slot. So right here we have a warm-up, we have core, and we have a body weight workout. I'm going to be running roughly 8 to 8.30 into the 9 o'clock uh, hour. Then we're going to have Coach James come out. I believe he's going to be doing a speed session at 9 o'clock. And then 10 o'clock, Eric, we're going to be having you. Coach Ryan. Coach Ryan is going to be hopping out for the athlete workout. So we're going to dive right into it. And I might stop along the way, explain a couple things. If any of the coaches have something else that they want to throw out during this time period, we're going to make that happen. All right. So getting ready right to the warm up, as you can see, we have jumping jacks. So we're going to go ahead and crank out 30 seconds of jumping jacks. And we're going to get that clock started in three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah. 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 So we're waiting to see if we can get some tunes going, <laughs> but obviously since we're live, we have to make sure because of copyright reasons, we're trying to get some non-copyright music up on the speaker, that way you guys have something to listen to, besides the beautiful sound of me huffing and puffing as we get through this workout. We got about 10 more seconds, then as soon as we get that, we're going to move on next to the forward lunge, which is second right here on the list, and three, two, one, and 30 seconds of lunge, hands on the hips. We're going to be lunging forward. Good. Then we're going to take it back. Make sure that we keep our chest up nice and tall. Drive through those heels, right? So we're just going to keep going forward and backwards right here. If you guys have the space to kind of just continuously move forward, I definitely recommend that. Right now, since because of the space provided, I'm just going to be going forward and backward for you guys. Next one on the list is going to be the lateral lunge. So we're going to be getting to that in three, two, one, and let's go. So we want to make sure, Eric, go ahead and let me know when I'm moving off the screen. Right there. Off, <laughs> awesome. So on these lateral lunges, we want to make sure that we're sitting down and back on that hip. Foot stays nice and flat, trailing leg stays straight, driving straight up, squeezing that glute at the top. And we've got about 10 more seconds before we're going to move into the leg kicks. Once again, this is still just all part of the warm up. Three, two, one and time, keeping our chest up, yeah, knees okay. locked out, nice. keeping up as high as we can, stretching out those okay. hamstrings. I'm going to show you guys from the side right here, we're going to be moving back and forward. My man CT over there, working on getting us some traps. Holla, I see my boy Stevie over there on the Mac computer, also trying to find some traps. we got about 10 more seconds, they're going to be moving on to the quad stretch with the inverted toe touch. All right, three, two, one, and let's get it. So grabbing these laces, hinging over at the hips, touch that toe. We want to make sure that when we're doing it, we're not grabbing these laces and just kind of collapsing right here. Chest stays out, hinge, touch that toe right here. Perfect. How many people we got live right now, fellas? We got nine. Nine people, that's it? I know you can share these things. If you're watching this, you're working out, make sure you share the video, all right? And next thing we got, moving on, skips for height. Three, two, one. So we're going to be coming across, focusing on getting up height. This one's definitely get the hop rate up, get sweating. Stay better today. Stay better today. So, we're going to have to pause real quick. Eric, I need you to do me a favor. Come on up here, please. Uh oh. Yes. So, I realized it's St. Patty's Day. I, myself, am not wearing green. Eric's not wearing green. Nope. Bitch. <laughs> Left me hand. So, I'll pinch myself. Right. Getting back into the leg workout. Let's see what we got. So, we're going to start on the core. We have V ups. From right here on the ground. Still good? Still good. Awesome. So for these V-ups, 
You want to keep these legs as straight as possible. Arms are going to stay overhead, and we're going to meet halfway like you're closing the book, just like that, right here. We're going to go for time, 30 seconds. Really squeeze, crunch that core as we're coming up. So if you are able to, keep your arms and legs off the ground the whole time. Keep attention throughout that core. Have about 10 more seconds. What do we got? Clean up right now? Yeah. Oh don't, boy. Don't tell okay. anybody. Moving on. The next thing we have, threading the needle. So this is going to be a great core exercise. It's also going to be working the obliques here on the side. So what we're going to do, hop right here to a side plank position. If you're able to stack your feet, I recommend that. It's going to make the exercise a little bit harder. If you want a little bit easier, get staggered. Have one foot on the ground right here, one foot behind. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Stack those legs. So thread the needle, take this arm, reach behind you as far as you can, open it up to the sky. We're going to go 30 seconds, each side right here. Make sure we're breathing, reaching behind us as far as possible, hitting those obliques. Here's a little 20 a second. Right? Yeah. You got about five more seconds. Those DJ remixes. So they feel like not enough to be able to. And time. Good. I'm going to swing around. Switch sides. Always want to make sure. Hitting both sides everything we do. That way there's no muscular imbalances, all right? Want to make sure the body's nice and balanced on both sides. Reach it underneath. Open it up to the sky. There's some folks alone on the radio. Sounds like uh, Big Booty Mix Volume 14. <laughs> Coming on the, on the radio. I dig it. Go. Remember, reach as far back as you can. Really target those obliques. Those are the abdominal muscles that run on the side at angles. And time. Good. Let's go ahead, pop up. Take a look at the board. Right now is a great time to catch your breath. If you have some water, which I recommend, keep by you. There's actually no water in here, but I'm going to pretend drink it anyway. My boy CT. It's going to hook me up with some water. So make sure that you keep some water on the side. Stay hydrated throughout all these workouts. So moving on, the next thing that we have, we knocked out the V-ups. We did the threaded needles. The next thing we have, we're going to be Spider-Mans, okay? So Spider-Mans, we're going to be right down here. Plank position. Then to the best of our ability, keep our backs nice and flat. Hips nice and low to the ground. We're going to bring our knee up to our elbow right here. So it kind of looks like Spider-Man climbing up the building. So we got 30 seconds right here. Let's go. Can we crank that music up? Let's go. Yeah, crank it up, man. Good DJ. <clears throat> and good. Moving on, that's what we've got next on the board. Cannonballs, one of my favorite exercises. So, for the cannonball, we're going to be right here. In a seated position like you do a cannonball in the pool. Unfortunately, it's a little cold outside to do that right now. Anyway, we're going to be right here. Extend those arms and legs out. Come right back up. Out. Right back up. We got 30 seconds. Let's start in three, two, one. Let's do it together. Go. There we go. Nice and easy. Crunch that core as we're coming up. Make sure we're sitting all the way up tall. Every single rep. Comment down below. If you guys are exercising right now, if you're following along to this workout, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see how everybody's morning is going. You're up at 20. Nice. We got some likes and shit. Short time, short time. Almost there, almost there. Yeah, I can't wait for this time. Good. Let's see what we got next on the board. So, we just made it through all the core exercises. Next thing we're going to do, moving on to the upper body. So, we're going to start off with just a basic push up. Now, to perform that, we're going to be right here. Make sure our hands directly underneath our shoulders, butts not too high, it's also not stacking too low right here, right? Of course, it's going to be nice and engaged, make it a little bit more difficult, we want to have our feet close together. If you need to make it a little bit easier, you can just grab your feet a little bit wider, to make it difficult, feet together touching right here, neutral spine, drive that chest down, all the way back up. We got 30 seconds, let's go. Yeah, this way. 
out there. She's dressed for work. Or right, Stevie, CT's out there. Okay, okay. Oh, man, CT. Okay, baby. I'm busy. You, you, you want to go through the warm-up, go through the whole exercise? Yep. Okay. You, ready? you feel some core exercises? Want you want them? Ready to go? I think the people want some core workouts. So we're going to start off with those V-ups. Let's just make an in-sync V-up. Oh, I love it. You ready, baby? Yeah. Come on. Let's get for 15. Just see it is. And three, two, one, go. Five. 
five, even on over here. Six, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Beautiful. Stay back to the whiteboard. Next exercise we got Spider Man. So we're going to go ahead and do fifteen each side. So for those Spider Man's, we'll be right here in that plank position. So we're going to reach that knee to that elbow. Right there, we got 15 each side. There's one. One. Two. From what? Do you like right over? Two. Three. My man. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15. Beautiful. Nice work. So we're sitting right at about 8.30. So we're going to keep rolling through this before Coach James hops on for some speed for you guys. Right? So moving on. Next exercise we got. One of my favorites again, the cannonball. So cannonball, we're going to be right here in the same position. Extending those arms and legs. Coming right back to that ball. All right? So we're going to try to see if we can do this one in sync. We'll go 15 again. So why not? Drop. All right, baby, ready? Three, two, one, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 12, 13, 14 and 15. Beautiful. Next thing we got moving on to the upper body workout. We're going to do push up. So, CT, demonstrate an improper push up for me, please. So, Terrible. right here, a couple things wrong. Terrible. We're not breaking 90 degrees with the elbow. Hips are up too high. So, what we're going to do to fix this, CT, go and come back into that position you were. So, we're just going to lower those hips a little bit. There we go. Nice straight line. Go from the ankle, knee, hip, up to the shoulder. He's going to drop down as low as he can. So right there is beautiful. Chest to the ground. Elbows are past 90. He's going to press straight up and squeeze those pecs. Go ahead and give us 25. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Well, six, extension, seven, CT. Let's eight, go. Thank nine, you. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
So next thing we got, rear elevated split squat. So once again, if you have a couch, you can use that. If you have a partner, you can use a partner. CT, will you please go ahead and hop to a push-up position right there for me. So instead of using the couch, you use the partner, make them do some extra core workout. So he's going to be up in a push-up position. I'm going to have one leg elevated right here. Once again, hands on the hips. Front leg stays nice and flat. Right here, let's go ahead and get 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. He's going to stay in that position. We're going to switch leg right here. And let's get it. So this is going to be a break one targeting the quad muscle right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. So that's the rear elevated split squat. The next thing we're moving out to is going to be the single leg glute bridge. So CT is going to show us that. I'm going to do it on the ground once again. So back's nice and flat. He's got one foot on the ground. One foot's going to be up. Knees as straight as possible. He's driving up, so he's pulling. Through the heel down, so he's targeting the hamstring, also the glute muscle right there. It's gonna hit the whole posterior chain, all right? Go ahead and give us 10 more CT. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Okay. So we're gonna make sure we bounce it out. Same thing on the other side. Let's go 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Last one for the lower body exercises. We're going to be getting back to the jump squats. So, for all in good fun, let's just see. I want you guys to comment down below who gets higher on these jump squats. Watch our feet, not our head. Right, my head, Josh. Go way higher. My, my head. Yeah, I know the ceiling's kind of low, yeah? Well, how, how tall are these ceilings? Nine, nine foot? Nine. Nine foot? You want? That's So, watch our feet, not our head. All right? Ready, CT? So do I need to pull like a Kevin Harder Tom Cruise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sure, closer sure. to the camera. <laughs> right? All right, let's go ahead. How many we got? 10? 15? 10? Let's do it. And ready to go? <laughs>
Drop some questions down below. Fitness, nutrition, exercise technique. Let them know when you're doing this. Anything. So we're gonna be live Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. So we're gonna have we're gonna have an eight to nine, a nine to ten, and a ten to eleven. All right. And we're gonna be rotating through the coaches so that way you guys can see a different face every time you guys are hopping on. Coach Stevie, I see you got a question. Yes, my man. What are some good stretches you can do after these workouts? Beautiful. So, some great stretches that you can do for these workouts. So, that's pretty much a full body exercise. So, a couple stretches that we do for the lower body. We're going to start right here. We'll just a basic toe touch. Knees are going to be locked out. Leaning over, reaching for those toes. Once again, if you're not able to reach for those toes, if it's only at your uh, quads or at your knees, calves, whatever, as far as you can comfortably. Also, remember when you're stretching, it should just be mild discomfort. It shouldn't be painful when you're stretching, okay? So, just lean over. This is going to be stretching out the posterior chain, that low back that hip and glute region, and also through those hamstrings. You can also feel in the back of those knees. So right here. And for these two, we just want to go about three rounds. Cycle through these for about 30 second holds. So just right here, make sure you're getting nice, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And every time you exhale, try to get a little bit deeper and deeper into that stretch. So we're breathing. Breathe now a little bit more into that stretch. Get a little bit lower and lower each time. Other thing you can do is to target one leg a little bit more than the other. It's going to be right here. Cross one leg over the other. This is going to be targeting that leg that's so straight a little bit more right here. Once again, same breathing pattern. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Stretching that leg out. We'll go ahead and switch. And once again, if you guys are just hopping on, cycle through these stretches three times, about 30 seconds each. Hitting that straight leg right here. Awesome. Now we're going to be stretching out those quads. So if you don't have good balance, uh, you can hold on to a couch, a wall. If you have a buddy around, you can grab your buddy. But we're going to bounce on one leg. We're going to grab these laces, pull that to your glute, and stretch. And if you want a little bit more, not only in that quad, but a little bit more to the hip, you can hinge forward a little bit more right here. Perfect. And once again, hold these three rounds, 30 seconds, just to a mild discomfort. Once again, stretching should not be painful. You shouldn't be cringing while you're stretching, all right? So once again, same thing on the other side, balancing on that leg. If you want to get a little bit more in the hip region, you can go ahead and hinge forward a little bit. Make sure we're not collapsing, right? Chest is out, hinging forward at that hip, getting a nice good stretch in the hip flexor. Beautiful. So taking it down to the ground, we're going to be right here. We're going to have our left leg bent. We're going to put our right ankle across that knee. We're going to walk forward. So that glute is right up on that heel. And so what this is going to be doing, I'll swing around so you guys can see, it's going to be stretching out my glute and everything in that hip region right here. 30 second hold. This is a beautiful stretch, one of my favorite stretches. And when you're doing this, I want you to have that mind uh, muscle connection. I want you to think that you're pushing this knee that way. And if you're having a hard time because you have tight hips, you can even just put your hand on there, apply just a little bit of pressure. Doesn't have to be super hard. Just a little bit of pressure, getting that knee away from the body. It's going to open up those hips a little bit more. Beautiful, we're gonna go ahead and switch side. Same thing with the other leg, across. Walk that glute forward and sit right there. Once again, making a picture in your mind, pushing this knee down away from my body. And do the next thing. Basic hurdler stretch, we're gonna be on the ground right here. Left leg's gonna be straight, right leg, we're gonna bend it in as close to the body as possible. Lock this knee out, and if we're not able to reach that toe, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and grab one of the knee. Grab under that calf wherever you can and allow yourself to pull forward. Once again, just mild discomfort. It shouldn't be super painful, okay? So it's right here. Focusing on that breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Every exhale, try to get a little bit further and further and deeper into that stretch, all right? So get a little bit deeper. A little bit better stretch. And once again, it doesn't have to be that big. It can be very incremental. And then also for me, I like to make sure that I'm getting my low back into this hamstring stretch as well. So I like to take my opposite arm and reach it to the outside. Once again, if you don't have the flexibility to do that, grab it at your quad, at your ankle, at your calf. No matter what, this is going to be a great alternative if you're not going to reach your foot. But if you can, I recommend it right here. Getting a nice deep stretch. Also twisting that body a little bit. It's going to hit that lumbar region. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and hit the same thing on the opposite side. Knee's going to be bent into our body. Other legs nice and straight. Once again, knee, calf, or ankle, or if we're able to grab those toes, let's go ahead and do that. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 
Every exhale, a little bit deeper and deeper into that stretch. And then, once again, if you want to hit a little bit more in that lumbar region, opposite arm across the body to the outside, right here. Beautiful work, hits that low back as well. Good, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch out that groin muscle a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we start right here. We're gonna sit down on this leg so it's gonna be completely flat on the ground. So if I show you from a side view, it's gonna look like this. That's how I'm sitting on it. Other leg is gonna be straight out. And I'm gonna walk it away from my body as far as possible. And I'm just gonna come down right here, almost like I'm doing the splits on one leg to the best of my ability right here. Just trying to focus on driving this hip down. It's gonna be stretching out through that whole groin region right here. Once again, all these uh, stretches. Three rounds, 30 seconds. In through the nose, out through the mouth, deeper and deeper into that stretch every single breath. Let's go ahead and switch sides right here. Once again, sitting on my ankle, completely flat. Walk this leg out as far as possible. Thinking mind, body connection, driving this hip straight down, stretching out that whole joint right there, okay? And if you want, you can use that foot, walk it out a little bit further and further, get a little bit more of a deep stretch. Hold that, focus on that breathing, all right? And then what we could do to transition this from uh, that inner thigh stretch, all we're going to do, we're going to come up right here, and then nice and simple, rotate that toe up, facing this way. We just now turn it into a hamstring stretch right here. It's also going to be stretching a little bit right there behind that knee, potentially into that calf. We're just going to sit right here and get a nice little lean forward, try to keep that leg as straight as possible. And if you guys have a little bend in your leg, that's all right. Uh, it just might mean that those hamstrings are a little bit tight, and we need to make sure that we're stretching a little bit more. Focusing on that rhythm, nice control. Try to focus on strengthening that leg. I'd rather have you guys sit up tall like this with a straight leg than trying to lean super deep into that stretch with a super bad leg. So once that knee starts bending, we're taking that tension off the hamstring. It's not be, going to be getting as good of a stretch as we can. So we should sit up, keep that leg locked out. We're going to go ahead and do that right there. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. Right here, toes to be up, sitting down, sitting into that hamstring. We got about 15 more minutes, then Coach James and CT are going to be hopping on for some speed for you guys, so make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. If you guys are watching this, go ahead and share it, so that way other people who are looking to catch a workout, as you guys all know, the gyms are closed, so we're going to try to help as many people stay fit and as active, uh, while also being safe at home. So get a nice good stretch right here. And so we will stay live a little bit longer to answer any questions that you guys might have. And if we have any announcements or whatnot, we'll have somebody hop on here. So let's keep it rolling a little bit more. So let's do some fun facts. Let's tell them some fun facts about T3. So here, let's, let's run a quiz. Raise your hand if you know the year that T3 was established. Yes, I feel like I know. Tell them to put an emoji. Do you want to give them a second to guess? Yeah, so anybody who's watching right now, if you guys know, don't cheat, don't go on the website. Comment down below if you guys know what year T3 was established. How many viewers we got right now? 11. 11. So I want all 11 people to hit that share button because I know you're watching. I got my guess. What's our metric guess? 2009. 2009? Is that right? No. Is it not? It's on metric code. Okay. Oh, I was about to say. 2009. What's another fun fact you'd have about T3? Maybe the city it started in. Yeah, if, if I remember correctly also. Yeah. Westlake. Westlake originated in Westlake and actually started out, what kind of building did you say that was? There's a bunch of like little offices. I can't think of another building that's around that's kind of like, uh, what, Eric, do you know? Lakewood Hospital Center. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, doctor's office. <coughs> so picture you're in, you're in a facility, right? And you're walking by, there's a dentist's office, there's a doctor's office, there's like an esthetician right there, and then you have 
and you're just hearing like bar slamming, people running, just getting after it, a crazy workout, that's T3. So that's one of the reasons why T3 had to relocate and also it, it really was beneficial because it helped T3 expand as a company because they were in that small little section, right? And it's difficult to have like all these like quieter businesses running when you got athletes that are training hard, slamming bars, hitting PRs, running and running, sprinting up and down the hallways. They're like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys are a little bit too intense for us. There's a little bit of noise. I know you guys are working hard, but the other businesses, it's a little bit quieter. So T3 had to relocate. That's where they came over to Avon and was in the all-pro facility. Uh, what would you say the square footage that was? Or even the starting facility? 1,100. It, the, the very first facility? Uh, 1,000. 1,000 square feet. And then coming to Avon? 19. 19. And now? 56. 56,000 square feet. So that's kind of like a little bit of the history as T3 had moved. And T3 really got started. Um, Mike would have definitely been a pro, uh, but unfortunately he had some injuries in college that um, inhibited him from doing so, which is actually how T3 was founded because he didn't want what he went through to happen to other athletes because back then there wasn't a lot of science, there wasn't a lot of kind of like thinking going into the training. It was just like, let's try to PR every time we work out, move heavy weights, like no matter what, there's, you know, people didn't pay attention to overtraining, they didn't pay attention to sleep, they didn't pay attention to nutrition as much, or recovery, and so a lot of people were getting injury, injured, and unfortunately that happened to Mike, and so that's how T3 was found, and that's what it's based upon. First and foremost, making sure that we're keeping our athletes healthy, happy, and then we want to make sure that they're getting bigger, faster, stronger. So that's kind of like a little bit of the history of how T3 got started and the culture. Also, we are sitting right at 849, so we'll stay on for about another minute or two if you guys have any questions. Then we'll shut down for about eight minutes before we have Coach James and CT hop on for you guys.